Hello, hope you're well. Uh, my name's Johnny and I play for a band called Pet Needs. Um, and I've been in lockdown for about three weeks now. It's going all right. Um, this is my acoustic guitar and it's absolutely uh, battered. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a big kind of like crack down here. This is being held on by tape and there's uh, this little bit of the bridge here. Um, it's basically made of uh, um, sellotape and a bit of a coat hanger as well. The reason for this is because I don't play acoustic guitar very much anymore. I don't play guitar very much anymore. Um, so it's been a real treat to have to relearn the songs um, for you today. Okay, I just got a little message from my brother saying sound is okay. That is good news. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Um, also, none of our songs are written to be acoustic, so some of them have been changed around a little bit. Uh, I hope you enjoy and this one is about a um, job interview I went to, it's called Outline, it goes like this. George stop texting me because it's put me off. <laughs> hey Pete. Walked out the interview, second question, so I wasn't in the best mood to reflect on myself. Punk rock in preparation, but at least it offers opportunity to escape. Sometimes I feel like an outline of myself, dead eyed and disconnected. If the world's a stage and we're all players, then I fuck up my lines more than intended. We were moans in here. I'm losing control We were one moans in here Escapism Framed and wrapped by a rock and roll historian Weathered in eleven spoons Two form cocktail mess more shots in the jug Please, my rose tinted glasses Smashing the last bar now I see is carnage It ain't romantic, it's not a rock and roll We're drinking from plastic, when did we get old? I can't remember my reasons for getting this fucked in the first place Maybe it's somebody's birthday Or just another Thursday in this big fish little pond town A drinking real ale don't make you a connoisseur More of an arrogant piss artist Who's a sign in high or worth to his destruction But decaying daily, the cop in this place is worn and so am I and we're so scared of failing we'll pretend that we don't even try it's the cyclical nature of life and the cynical nature of lies that keep us spinning and I walked out of the interview second question we were animals in here I'm conscious that I'm losing control we Thank you very much. Oh, I've just noticed, <laughs> I noticed that the camera is slowly sliding downwards as I play. Uh, let me put a uh, can opener in front of it to keep it in place. Um, it's weird being in lockdown, isn't it? It's strange that every day is kind of like melding into one and we're in like a perpetual Sunday afternoon. I've been furloughed. Um, which means that there's no looming Monday morning at the moment. And you think that'd be good? Do you think it'd be good to not have to work for a bit? But um, I put on events for a living um, and then play music as well. And suddenly you kind of like look into the future and there's nothing. And it kind of like, it's a little bit weird for your mind. Um, but it's all good fun. It's really good. Uh, it's really good that I'm doing something like this so I can kind of like connect with people in a different way. Right, this song. Um, I like came up with the idea of it on guitar and then gave it to the band and they made it incredible and then I forgot how to play it on guitar and I relearned how to play it on guitar today with all the extras that they've added in as well. Um, so wish me luck, it goes like this. Pavlovian. I'd salivate at the sight of cheap t-shirts. My response is Pavlovian. I salivate at the sight of cheap t-shirts. I've been watching videos. 
I could tell me I'm in charge of my own destiny. Each one surrounded by a targeted advert based on my search history. What do you see in me? What do you see in me? If I take myself down to the woods in my new coat, nobody sees me. Am I still trendy? I stumble with swagger pretending that I'm neither aging or becoming boring. My response is Pavlovian. We salivate at the sight of cheap t-shirts. My response is Pavlovian. I salivate at the sight of cheap t-shirts. I've been watching videos that tell me I'm in charge of my own destiny. Each one surrounded by a targeted advert based on my search. I've been documenting details, been listening to seashells, learn on the edge of the cliff tops, I kick rocks, watch them fall down. The imprint on the sand seems significant somehow, exists in the now. This is a now, be kind to yourself. For chili, it's fine, it's okay not to be okay. Find that phrase patronizing, I blame communication, mate. The only time I hear from you is a downward thumb on YouTube. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love cheap clothes. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love cheap clothes. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love cheap clothes. I love you, I love you, I love you. I've been watching videos that tell me I'm in charge of my own destiny. Each one surrounded by a targeted advert based on my search history. What do you see in me? What do you see in me? What do you say in me? What do you say? Jesus Christ, I've not done exercise or singing or anything for a while. And uh, singing Penny's songs is a workout. I forgot how much of a workout it is. Um, that was our new single called Pavlovian. Um, I stuck a video of it in the, uh, in the event earlier. Oh yeah, if I swap across, I can see if anyone's saying anything, can't I? Thank you, Alan. Uh, yeah, this t-shirt's cool, isn't it? Self-love is punk rock. Um, Basically, there's this uh, charity called Heads Above the Waves. They're based in Cardiff. They're super, super cool. Um, and they're just a group of young people that have got together and they've created this website and stuff. And it's all about um, basically suicide prevention um, through um, promoting people appreciating each other and loving themselves and stuff like that. They're really cool. They're called Heads Above the Waves. You should definitely, uh, definitely go check them out. I'm drinking wine tonight as well because I've been drinking uh, ever since the lockdown where well, every day is the same. Um, I've been drinking lots of beer and I decided the other day that I was going to get a little bit more healthier and the way that I was going to get healthier is to now instead drink wine. I think that's the healthiest choice I've made since being in lockdown. Okay, cool. Uh, this song uh, was I can't remember when this was written. This was written years ago, but it goes like this. These holes, these holes in my jeans are getting too big. You can see my skin and desire. And I'm tired of ripping myself to pieces at the weekend. Stitch by stitch by stitch. This mind, this mind of mine is temperamental. But tonight I feel so damn wide. And I'm tired of ripping myself to pieces at the weekend stitch by stitch by stitch me up stitch me up stitch me up stitch me yeah oh. stitch me up stitch me up stitch me up stitch me up Stitch me up, stitch me up, stitch me up. These holes, these holes in my skin, I swear now it's been a while since I perspired like this. To rip my 
myself to pieces at the weekend, stitch by stitch by stitch. These eyes, these eyes of mine have got lives around that I don't recognize. And I'm tired of ripping myself to pieces at the weekend, stitch by stitch by stitch me up, stitch me up, stitch me up, stitch me up. Stitch me up, stitch me up, stitch me up, stitch me up, yeah, oh, 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 oh. stitch me up, stitch me up, stitch me up, stitch me up. Where you running, what you running from? Yesterday's Chinese rotates on its axis, it's hazy memories perpetuate my consciousness. The faces and places we graced with the greatest intentions, please nobody mention what has become of us. There we go. That's that one. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. You know what? It's so bizarre kind of like playing just to your phone screen. Um, my wife Lorna is decorating the room uh, like next door. Um, so I think she's listening. I hope I'm not annoying her too much. Thank you very much. She said it was a nice soundtrack, which is cool because uh, she's because we've got uh, internet people watching. Um, it means she's not allowed to get annoyed at me for making noise, which is fantastic. Right, this one, um, uh, actually I'm going to do this. Um, so, I do a little bit of spoken word and stuff like that, and a little bit of uh, poetry. I don't know what the difference is between poetry and spoken word, really, apart from, uh, like, I feel comfortable saying I do spoken word, because I don't really, like, read that much poetry or anything like that. I don't know about, kind of, like, pentameter and stuff. Um, but I do know, actually, that Eagle Spitz is an absolutely fucking amazing poet and a wonderful human being as well. Um, so, massive love to him for putting this on and for um, raising money for homeless people, for homeless kids as well. Um, he's a legend, and he was doing it for absolutely years. Um, and I've got so much love for that, man. We were meant to be, um, well... Uh, Tomorrow, we're meant to be up in Derby. Uh, I live in Colchester, by the way, in Essex. Tomorrow, we're meant to be up in Derby, uh, like playing with the UK subs. And then on Saturday, we were meant to be over um, doing something uh, doing something for him up in Sheffield. But unfortunately, those gigs are being cancelled. Because those gigs are being cancelled, it means that the money's not being raised. So if you can raise money, just look in the event page and it shows you um, how you can donate there. Um, whatever you can afford, you know, whatever you can afford. And if you can't afford, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, a lot of the songs are... Uh, I write and then we write subsequently, uh, start off with pieces of spoken word and then get chopped up um, and put into a song form. And lots of the original like, lyrics get lost. So I thought uh, this could be a good chance for me to do um, the lyrics or the extended lyrics to something called uh, I Don't Wanna Be Only Happy. Um, I, was, I, I hope I remember them. It goes like this. She said she'd come here to Berlin to find the man that she would marry, mate. She'd have this premonition that one day she would be happy as if happiness was a permanent state. And it just happened that she had this predetermined fate. She held my gaze as she sucked smoke deep into her lungs and passed it on to me. My gosh, this stuff was strong. It's the nature of chaos. Is happiness contentment or the absence of sadness? The epitome of excitement or the antithesis of stress? If we define something by what it's not, does it exist in its own right? Is it permanent or transient or just there to sell us lifestyles? Or just there, always one more step away? She played me songs that she told me she'd written, but I'd heard them all before. That evening, saw me, uh, that evening saw me stumble into a squat just north of Kreuzberg, inhabited by anarchists and artists. My heartbeat increased as fire lit the sky. I ain't gonna lie, I avoided eye contact at first. But then I saw him, the silhouette of a shadow of a man, sat statue-like, eyes flickering. Entranced by the dance of the fire, I sat beside him. He never shared his name, but what he gave me was a story that stunned me.
He said I'm an artist and I've been doing it for ages. Charcoal portraits, tourists mainly. I've got this patch down by the station and today this lady came to me who filled me with anxiety, said she'd come here to Berlin to find the man that she would marry and that this would make her happy, as if happiness was permanent. She had this preconception that her life was predetermined, said she'd read it on the packaging of a carbonated liquid and could fulfill what was lacking if she just forgot to think. She said she'd come here to Berlin to find the man that she would marry. Mate, she'd had this premonition that one day she would be happy as if happiness was a permanent state. And it just happened that she had this predetermined fate. That's that. Thank you very much. It's really weird doing it into a, um, into a phone reflection of yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pete. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do two more. Uh, I'm alright, thanks, Lars. Now that you've sat through some uh, poetry, I'm going to uh, treat you with a pop song. Um, this one goes like this, it's called Punk Isn't Dead, It's Just Up For Sale. Thank you very much. Um, right, I've got one more for you before I go. We were gonna, um, George was, uh, my brother was gonna kind of like hop in and do a couple of tunes as well, because he sings a couple of songs, uh, but unfortunately we couldn't uh, work out the tech for that. And I was a bit ill prepared for this. Um, I, well, actually I've done a lot of practice, and then it came to um, like about half an hour before um, coming on here and playing. And I hadn't shaved since being in quarantine, um, and I haven't had a beard, or what's kind of meant to be a beard, um, 
since I was, I haven't tried since about like 18 years old. Um, so I thought I'd try and quarantine. It was going all right, it was going all right. And then I realized I had to shave a neckline in. And so I had to YouTube how to shave a neckline in your beard. Um, and I did that and it worked, it was fine. And then it was all growing well and I had to, like, did a little line on the cheeks and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I went to reshave my ne neckline today and just like cut a massive hole out of it. And this was about five past five. Um, and then I had 25 minutes with a kind of like blunt razor to get big hairy face down to like little 12 year old face again. Um, so it was panic leading up to this, but I've enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Stick around for the other people who are gonna be on tonight as well. Um, this is an amazing thing that Eagle's doing and uh, Eagle's one of the best people in the world. Rachel are one of the best people in the world. I was like lucky enough to play their wedding as well. And if anyone of you know them and went to their wedding, their wedding was one of the best uh, most beautiful days in the world as well. Hopefully there's a video of their first dance somewhere because it was amazing. Um, this is the last song. This is again a song that I don't play on. Um, so I've got the chords written here. There's more than that, they're just ones I can't remember. Uh, this is the last song, it's called How To Perfectly Pretend. Uh, it's been nice to spend some time with you. I'll see you next time. Perfectly pretend, my friend, I've been doing it for ages I'm fine, what you ask, I'm smiling, ain't I? What weird question lying on my back in Hackney Wick I had this epiphany, man, am I who I am or am I as I wish to be perceived? Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. I straighten my hair and spray it, moisturise my face into a smile Snap's idea, last on the back of a mask But making memories for the sake of faking pleasantries at dinner parties This ain't where we reminisce, man This is where it's starting Like an oil painting, your eyes follow me around the room You are the eye, stand the canvas, man And we're the last one standing, so let's perfectly pretend My friend repressed, deflect attention I'm fine, what you ask, and smiling, ain't I? Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. The deepest impact lies beneath the feet of those who carve the path. We're always on self destructive, never smiling for so cross. And don't you dare believe. You're ever wrong And don't take bad advice From the words in a punk song from a punk song don't take bad advice from a punk song <laughs> thank you very much um cheers it's been good to good to spend time with you i enjoyed uh, i enjoyed it a lot enjoy the rest of the night i'll see you later bye